I'm in Water Resources Engineering, which is under the Department of um, Civil and Environmental Engineering. My project works with um, Pure Scour. Right now, around um, up to 60% of bridges are failing because of processes involving river hydraulics, and scouring is one of these processes. Scouring is um, when a sediment is being moved by the, uh, by the water. So let's say you have a, uh, a block or something, like a pier, and you have um, the sediment around it. So the sediment around it keeps it stable. So once, uh, so when the water is flowing around it, it um, if the water is flowing too quickly, it can pick up the sediment and move it somewhere else. So once you have that happening, the water, the this um, this erosion occurs, and that's um, that's what the scouring is. So generally, when people build bridges, they build them in constricting areas, and this saves um, this saves money because um, you'd have to have less material costs. So when you have a constricting area, there is actually two types of processes that can cause erosion. There is the scouring that's caused by the pier itself. So the water is moving around this pier and it's kind of eroding away at the pier. And then you have um, the scouring that's caused by the acceleration of the water due to the narrowing of the, uh, of the river. I have a flume over here and I basically have a pier, so that just um, represents the, the, the pier of the bridge. And I have sand, so I have, uh, and I've also got water flowing through it. So in, the, in that case, um, it, it pretty much represents a river. So that, so once I, if I have the pier and the river, that just represents a bridge um, in just kind of normal conditions. And then um, I have these um, side things that, are, that represent these um, constrictions. So there have been some, um, some tests done, um, experiments like mine, but no one's really combined the two cases uh, of having a river that's narrowing as well as building a bridge in this case. So there are methods of looking at this and they usually take the two, um, the two types of um, erosion separately, the erosion that's caused by the narrowing and the erosion that's caused by the bridge itself. But no one's really looked at both of these um, both of these cases together, and this is a pretty common occurrence. So uh, that's one of the reasons um, why these bridges aren't doing so well. So I think um, that's a practical application of my research.